Hey, in this video, I will show you how can you upload your Django project completely free on Python anywhere. For testing purpose of Django hosting, it is the best. And in the last video, I showed you how to upload your project on GitHub. So why you waste your money to buy a domain and hosting for testing purpose? Just use Python anywhere and it gives you free SSL, free domain and free hosting up to 512 MBs. Now I am talking about the common problem of hosting on Python anywhere and this is the version problem. In this video, I will show you how host your Django project on Python anywhere with Python 3.7 or Python 3.8 and Django 3. Just follow the steps and I will clear your concept. At first, you have to create a free account on pythonanywhere.com. After successfully create a free account, then the dashboard look like this. Here is a dashboard and here is the consoles. Here is files. You can see your all file here. Here is web. You can create the web applications. You can schedule your tasks. And here is the database. You can create MySQL database. And for the Postgres database, you have to pay them. Okay. So now go to the console and click on Bash. Okay. Now at first type Python dash dash version. I just Okay, you can see here the Python version is 2.7.2, so you can change it. So just type a a l i s l i s Python equal Python 3.8. You can type whatever you want. Just check your Python version in your computer. So just type Python dash dash version. So here is a 3.7.7. Convert Python 2.7 to 3.7. So type li is Python equal Python 3.7. Now check the Python version. Now the Python version is 3.7.5. Now you have to change also for pip. So type a l i a is li p i p pip equal pip 3. Okay. So you can see the pip list. Okay, so now you have to create a virtual environment for your project. So I just clear the terminal and now and you have to type make virtual environment and the virtual environment name and then type dash dash python equal slash usr slash bean slash python and version. I just copy this line. Okay, so I just copy it and go to the bash and here type make virtual env and the virtual environment name is my project and paste it okay dash dash python equal uhr slash bean slash python 3.7 because my python version is 3.7 It will create a virtual environment for you. Okay, our virtual environment has been created successfully. So I will give you link in description. So check the description box for this link. And now, and now you have to install the Django. So just type pip install Django. And it will install the latest version the Django. So the Django version is 3.1. You can see it. Okay, Django is successfully installed. So now go to the GitHub and just here I upload the project storybook. I put the link in description. So just check it. In the previous video, I already show you how to upload your Django project on GitHub. Just check it. Okay, now copy this code and go to the bash here type git clone and paste it and now hit enter 
clone is successfully created so now go to python anywhere so just here is your username and go to files you can see here django storybook it is my project okay so inside the storybook you can see here project static and story now go to the bash and at first i just clear the terminal c l e a r clear so now so now type a list list of objects and here is readme.txt and django storybook just type c d and django storybook and just type tab for auto complete and hit enter and then type ls and here is two file also readme.md and storybook so just type cd storybook and tab for auto complete between story and book there is a space okay you can see that so that's why you put a slash so hit enter and now type ls so it is a directory of manage.py okay so now type python manage.py make migrations okay so here is an error no module name tag it okay you have to install django tag it so just type pip install django tag it because i use django tag it in the project so just hit enter okay django tag it has been successfully installed now i just clear the terminal so c l e a r clear the terminal and now type python manage.py make migrations okay so now type python manage.py migrate okay so there is a migration for the authentication so now you have to create a super user so just type python manage.py create super user and the username is be learn type whatever you want and enter email address and then type the password i just type the password re enter the password and password did not match sorry for this i just type my password again yeah the password is too short i am not using admin admin so i use another password short so just type y okay so admin admin password is a good practice for the local host because you can remember it okay so now go to python anywhere dashboard and go to the web now you have to create a web application for your django project so now click on next if you have an domain then you have to upgrade it but for this i just click on next and and it is my domain okay so just click on next and just click on manual configuration and choose the python version so just check the python version so python version is 3.7 so just choose the python version 3.7 and click on next it will create an web application okay so scroll down here is a virtual in you have to enter the path for the virtual in okay here 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 okay so i just copy this this is the path of the virtual environment home slash your username then dot virtual in actually this is the hidden file and then the my project okay you just copy your virtual in and you can type here okay i just copy and paste here the virtual environment 
you can check the location of the virtual environment so just go to python anywhere dashboard and go to files and go to virtual ends and here you can see the directory of the virtual environment is home then slash then your username then slash then var dot virtual ends then slash and then your project name so you can start the console from here so i just close this console and start the console from here now go to the dashboard and now go to web and here is your web applications now and here you have to type the source code of your project that means you have to type the directory or path of your project and in the directory of manage.py so type ls and just type cd django storybook and just type ls and just type cd storybook and here and here is the manage.py so i just type print working directory pwd so copy this and paste here okay so the source code of the project has been added successfully so i just copy the domain and paste here you can see the hello world app okay so now go to web and go to the code and now go to the wsgi configuration file now click on it so from the line number 13 this code is for the hello world okay so i just remove this code line number 13 to line number 53 just remove it and scroll down scroll down at the line number 33 you can see the django okay so at first you have to import the os just remove the hash tag and you have to import the sys now you have to type the path of your source code so just type path equal what is your source code i just paste no this is the domain so just go to bash and it is the source code so just copy it and this is the directory of manage.py okay so just copy it and paste here okay so now remove the hashtag or you can type e path not in sys.path and remove the hashtag sys.path dot append the path and now set the environ so i just copy it and paste here otherwise you can remove the hashtag and change it so what is the my project name so just go to python anywhere dashboard and go to files go to django storybook go to the storybook and uh, my project name is project okay actually this is the django project i have created already in the local host and this is the django application name story okay so just type here project dot settings project dot settings so go to storybook and it is my django project and it is my django story so after you type the project dot settings then you have to import the get wsgi application so remove the comment hashtag so remove this hashtag also application equal get wsgi application and save it okay remember this you have to type this otherwise it will not work now save it and go to the web and you have to restart your server so now just copy the domain and paste here 
disallowed host okay okay so just go to files and go to the django storybook and go to the storybook go to the project in the project here is a settings.py so you have to edit it so here just type the host this is the host name and debug is true or false i just type the true for now and save it okay so run the server again So go to the web and run the server again. Okay, so now replace it or enter your domain. Okay, boom, this will successfully upload it. Okay, so our project has been successfully uploaded on pythonanywhere.com. This is not a secure, just go to web and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. If you have a static files then enter the path for the static files. So I just go to security and here you have to enable the force HTTPS. So just enable it. And now restart the server and just refresh it and enter your domain. Okay, the connection is secure. So go to the any story, this is the story and this is the similar posts, okay. So you can design it. So just go to the category Oscar Wilde. Okay, so thanks for watching the videos and don't forget to subscribe the channel. We just complete the first Django project and this project is for beginner and all. Okay, see you in next video.